Hi guys, this is part 5 in the GPS specific area for my project build log, SD card based MP3 player and GPS for DS pick. And wait for it, ah look at that, nice, QFH antenna goodness. For this video I'll try and stay away from the larger project and stick to building the QFH antenna because I think that'll appeal to a wider audience over a longer duration. Someone watching this a year from now will probably be more interested in building an antenna than making the GPS module, but I will give the module a little bit of time. This is a modified schematic from the datasheet for a simplified connection with no battery, no serial EEPROM, connection to a microcontroller through a serial port, and a series 1 nanofarad capacitor in the RF line because the antenna appears DC short circuit. I've made a start to the GPS module here and you'll notice that pins 8 and 9 are connected together with a bead of solder. And the completed module ready for lead out wiring to be mounted as close to the base of the antenna as possible. I'm yelling because I'm recording this narration in a natural environment. It's night time and it's very windy. I was originally planning to make the lobes out of 4mm copper tube left over from my Tesla coil primary. But after my first bend it became clear that wasn't going to happen. So I've gone to 2mm solid wire from eBay and this is the supplier. I sourced brass tube from a local hobby shop and just selected the gauge based on the gauge of the coax. I gathered as many PVC offcuts as I could for as many diameters as possible for a jig. Here's the input plugged into the online calculator for this antenna. The bending radius there is a bit hopeful but I'll get to that. Trap number one. The online calculator assumes you'll have part of the antenna loop fed straight through a PVC stem. Because we're using a conductive stem we've got to trim the radius from every lobe. Building the antenna was so time consuming I couldn't hope to get it on video. The wasted time was all in the preparation rather than the actual building. I have put together a reenactment and funnily enough this took me about 5 minutes to prepare for. This is probably the best way to get your input bend radius for the calculator. Trap 2. The bend radius is usually the radius of the former that you're bending the pipe around, but the online calculator wants the input to include the radius of the pipe as well, so in my case that's one extra millimetre. For the off-camera part where my hands block your view, I'm basically following the bend around the former with my thumb. I haven't cut this lobe to any particular size, remember it's a reenactment. The straight ends of the wire should be 180 degrees apart looking down the centre of the tube, so now's the time to fiddle with it. Not quite perfect, I would have had another go at that for the real thing. It's good to start out like this, but as it comes together and draws heat everywhere, you'll probably want to step up to a 60 to 80 watt iron and use shorter dwell times. Trap 3. Being a loop antenna, I'd imagine it unadvisable to use any ferrous material at all, including the braid of the coax, which is running straight through the whole antenna.
When the coax is led up the stem, the lobes that are 90 degrees apart are connected together. So the center conductor connects to two lobes that are 90 degrees apart, and then the other two are connected to ground, either the stem itself or the coax braid. If you're interested in my larger project, you'll have to check out my other videos, but I think this is about the stage where it gets ridiculous. I didn't time the cold start, but it's about a minute, and it is quicker than a Garmin GPS 18 PC mouse-style GPS receiver with a ceramic antenna facing the sky. This doesn't get a fix at all if it's sitting flat on a table, which is how I do my programming, so the ceramic antennas I ordered from eBay won't go to waste. There's an SMA connector I can use so I can swap a ceramic antenna and use it when it's sitting on a table facing up. I'm glad I only need one of these. The QFH antenna calculator I've referred to in this video can be found at jcoppins.com.